blessing. The blessings of the Lord are new every morning. I was thinking about that. It's, um, I mean, that the old blessings should be good enough. I mean, His blessings are blessings; they are eternal. So, um, am I looking for new things every day? Is this what it means? Hey, um, I, Lord, I need a new blessing. No, no that's not what it says. Because that place talks about his faithfulness. It's so great. They are new every morning because I am renewed. <laughs> you know, the new man, the new creation is getting renewed by knowledge, revelation, revelation, knowledge. It's me that I get renewed and I see a new facet of the diamond shining through. You know, it's same word, same promise. <laughs> and, but as I get renewed, I'm so excited of the newness. When I am changing everything, it's new for me. So that's good. If you get bored with the spiritual things or it kind of like same old, same old, it, it's not that the Lord is not speaking, He's not freshly speaking, blessing you. It's that somehow um, there's a little crust that's forming and that newness, it's not happening all the time. Right, so check on that, and you now if something to repent, uh, some words that you said about, nah, I don't want this, uh, no, nah, I don't, I don't need it, I, I'm not, you know, oh, I don't like this, right? Repent um, and say, Lord, I, I'm so excited today. Everything is so new because I am renewed today. I am renewed today. <laughs> so new. Beautiful, right? So, a provision crisis. We, we're talking about um, where that shows you source and provider. We're talking about testing very very deep stuff you know that the testing we know where it comes from we can see what's doing inside us and it's a maturing process so you go further today in john 6 and <laughs> remember jesus asked philip where can we get breads and so here is the analytical calculated uh, intelligent Philip answer, right? Philip answered him, 200 denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them, for everyone to receive a little. One of, the, one of his disciples, Andrews, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, there is a lad here who has five barley loaves and two fish but what are these for so many people you know people around you and if if you don't have people around you that think that way your mind for sure will always calculate what's necessary <laughs> the natural carnal thinking will always be available um, I'm, I'm not saying that that's not an importance in the practical thinking, uh, common sense. Um, I'm not saying that's not, that doesn't have a place. But when the practical thinking that calculating on the ground doesn't add up, then you have to understand this is, this challenge 
this test, this question from the Lord is because he wants to find what's happening on the inside. He wants to bring the provider. He wants you to see something beyond the regular, natural, normal calculation, right? And now it's fairly easy when there is a sickness or something that the doctors cannot heal and science doesn't know what it is and things, symptoms keep coming back. It's like, well, it's the Lord is the only one, right? But when there are solutions and, well, if I would do this better, if I would eat more regularly, if I would do this, if I would do that, right? The practical thing, um, that's harder there, you know? So here's Philip <laughs> that comes up with a calculation, right? And eh, it's not enough even that amount of huge money which you don't have you know so <laughs> what what he is doing here and what what the purpose of what you are hearing now is to teach you the ways of god Re remember with moses moses knew or were, was seeking the ways of god how he thinks how he does his things the people israel were looking for the works of god and lots of people i would say huge majority of charismatics and christians and people sincere especially looking for help and they they want the works of god you know something that works something that happens very few want to know ways of God how, how what is he doing here and not here what is he after what's he waiting is he waiting on something right <laughs> so we it's gonna it's gonna take a while but usually the two conditions that get you to know him and his ways it's a huge need and very limited resources <laughs> and i want you to stop and say hey I'm, I'm not gonna go the way i used to go father i want to know how you see this how you think about this what's your planning in doing this so <laughs> interesting when calculations don't add up, and lots of times they don't, the ways of God is look for an Andrew. So Andrew is, the thinking is basically still some opportunity. He still operates with things that you have, right? You have in your hand, you have them handy, right? Um, it's not necessarily a super faith person or super faith thought, right? But you know what's in there in the five loaves of bread and two fish? Hope. There is a seed of hope. The Lord works with a seed of hope. You know, when, when, when that woman uh, with the issue of blood reached um, his coat, right? The, and he touched that. That was the seed of hope. I will go and I will touch that. That touch, you know, brought that substance of faith. Right? So it started to the hope. It started to, I'm going to leave home. I know I'm not supposed to be there, but I will go. That seed, right? So the five loaves and two fish, it's the seed of hope. Look for that point of contact. That's the seed of hope. Look for the point of uh, contact. You know, you're thinking, how? what's the next move? Okay, 
and somebody's saying, hey, let's go and pray for this person. And it's like, well, so many people prayed. And it's been at so many crusades and conferences. And we've been praying for so long and it doesn't happen. It's like, what if this is the five loaves and two fish? That little Andrew thought, right? Um, let's text that person. Um, let's let's start this. You know, let's gather some money to bless. It's like, yeah, but what can you do? How how far do you go? How far can you go with that money? You know, it's like. Uh, you just need a seed, <laughs> just a seed, right? So the ways of God are looking for this point of contact. They're looking for that seed of hope that he can multiply. I remember we started this uh, thing with the, the training center. So that the thought came so powerful. I've been, well, I've been thinking about that, but it came so powerful. So I remember a couple of years ago, and I, you might know this story, but um, first time the Lord says, I want you to announce it. So I get up in the Sunday morning service and I said, the Lord, you know, is speaking to me about the Sonship Training Center. And it's going to do this. And it's going to be like this. <laughs> at the end of the service, that's, that's a new, new person who just came. It's a, it's, a, it's a lady. It's a sister in the back of the church. And I'm going there and just to meet the people. And she uh, it's introducing herself and it's the first words she says i have the same vision as you i mean it's like what i mean you are coming for the first time i don't even know you and you came to affirm and validate that seed of hope <laughs> that that was so powerful so I did continue. Now we are, we are starting something in uh, Romania, um, <laughs> Sunship Training Center, um, that started actually with a with a with a lady with a widow, an older lady, a sister. She got healed reading the Sunship book, and she translated in her own native language. And then uh, she had this, I mean, such a fire. She had this on her heart to donate a part of her land to us. <laughs> it's like, a land? No, we're looking for the clouds. <laughs> so sure enough, we, we have an architect that's going to draw some plans and um, pull electricity and we're going to start. So the question was, well, 200 dineries, who, you know, I mean, how much money? I mean, who has this much money? I mean, it's like, do you know how much it's going to cost? <laughs> I'm smiling because I know my source. I know who got all of this started and that's not me. <laughs> I know he did this. He started this. He is having the resources. Absolutely. <laughs> I have no doubt. Right? So, um, going with the, the small things, right? The five loaves and two fish. That's, that's kind of how we started this um, training center. You know? So, the ways of God. You start looking for an Andrew kind of thought, right? That has these ideas that give you a small thing, but you know that's the next step. You feel that, okay? It's not a pie in the sky. No, no, it's, it's something very practical. It's down there. It's there, right? Um, it's not 
calculations it's not a huge plan it's like hey this is it and again there was not like setting faith by Andrew says what's this you know but it was that seed of hope that's what you're looking for remember Elijah comes to that widow and says what do you have in the house and, and so so it's not like okay here it is I'm bringing out from heaven Oh, do you see? It's a truckload of food, you know? Now, what do you have in the house? Because that's where I'm starting from, right? The point of contact is this seed of hope. And he's going to show you his ways to make the impossible possible. In crisis situations, the Lord is opening your eyes and start seeing what Andrew is seeing and is telling you, try to understand, no matter how little, because in his hands, it's the beginning of the miracle. See, the Lord does not despise the weak and the small beginnings. You know why? He's got a great finish. <laughs> he's got an amazing finish the moment he touches things um, everything comes and um, it's amazing it's so powerful so the ways of God look for the next step it might be very simple it might be in something that is um, very down to earth and practical and he might tell you that's where the seed of hope is now lots of times is you want to get something give something right and uh, get the healing give the healing call someone in need of healing and pray for them and see it happening and then you see it happening inside you. Don't just wait maybe for those uh, uh, hundreds of thousands of, you know, the money to come and do this and buy the bread and breads from the sky. No, no, no. Look for this five loaves and two fish. That's the seed of hope. That's the next step. And he's going to show you exactly the way he's thinking about the point of contact for your miracle. It's right here. And it's happening. Amen.